Achievement Overview. Hello everyone, this is Club Crew from Magical Noob here with an Achievement Overview for Trials Fusion. We're going through all 16 achievements, some of them will be on this video, some of them I'll be directing you to guides outside of this channel, so make sure those annotations are turned on, because there will be loads of them. I'll also include links in the description below in case you're watching this on your phone or something. Let's do this! We'll start with some easy ones. Wax on, wax off simply requires you to complete the second training program, which is sort of a tutorial in the Arctic Open. Really easy to do. For scrooging around you need to get 24 gold medals. If you unlock all gold medals since the start of your playthrough, this will unlock on the Cactus Challenge, so you don't even need to get gold medals on hard tracks for this one, only the beginner, easy and medium tracks. I like what you've done there, go to track central, choose a random track, I'd look for one with loads of thumbs up to avoid retarded tracks, and as soon as you finish it, the achievement unlocks. The fifth key can be found on the track editor. Go to create and once the map loads, change your location to coast, where you can see these buildings right here. Once you've found the location, follow the map along the coast until you find this beach right here, with the mountain on its left. The fifth key is somewhere inside that mountain. So we gotta destroy that mountain, we gotta shape uh, its form. So first thing you wanna do is set a start and end point, because otherwise you cannot mess with, uh, with the map. Go to Terrain Modification, then uh, bring up Object Properties, and you wanna select the Holes Crater number 5, which is the biggest one. Then after messing about a little bit with the camera and destroying, completely obliterating the mountain, you will be able to find the fifth key. What you gotta do now is move your cursor over it and uh, then press A to select it and that will bring up the, the colorful circles which allow you to move that object and the achievement itself will pop. For that's not right! Find a ramp going downwards and bail out while leaning forward. This might take a few attempts for the bike to properly run you over, but it's really easy to do. For Quadratic, you first need to unlock the TKO Panda in the Cactus Challenge, then go back to Fusion Factory. And the thing is, this bike is fast, so if you take jumps with too much speed, you're gonna bump your head and crash. But if you're too slow, you're not gonna make the jumps. So this race might take a few attempts until you find the right speed, but the hard achievements are still to come, believe me. Leaving a fine-looking fossil requires you, first, to unlock the excavator suit, which is done very early, I think around level 14, way before you get to the FMX tracks. Equip the suit, then I use the Daredevil Showdown track for this achievement. Basically, you want to take it slow on the very first jump of this track and do the proud hero pose by pushing down the right thumbstick and you fall down. And as you fall, the achievement will unlock. The bike is your hula hoop can be quite tricky. Get it? Pick the airtime track on Skill Showdown. Start off by doing two different tricks to start increasing that multiplier that you see on the top right hand corner. Make sure you hold those tricks down for long enough so their names will turn from yellow to orange. That's how the multiplier increases even more. I got it in this location but there's another one further in the track where it's even easier. You don't need this crazy times 8 multiplier, a times 5 multiplier is enough. As you can see, there's a really big fan that makes you fly for a long time. You should be able to chain three tricks properly, and with a 5 times multiplier, that will land you the 20,000 points easily. For a wolf in wolf's clothing, first you must get to level 50, because that's when you unlock your first complete outfit. You get XP by getting medals or completing challenges. Then you go to your garage and uh, buy every piece of the contender outfit. It costs 20,000 trials dollars and the achievement will unlock as you buy all of them. All your game are belong to us is achieved when you complete the Experts Club and unlock the Master's Gauntlet. This means you don't have to beat any extreme tracks to get this achievement. You don't even need to get gold medals on any of the races. Bronze is enough. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed requires you to find all the squirrels in trials. There are 20 of them, and we'll start with Greenhorn's Grove, where there are three of them. The first squirrel is in Waterworks. After you get to this ramp that falls down, uh, you get that checkpoint, and then you want to reverse. I'm gonna speed up the footage right here, I'm gonna do this several times. And you will notice this sign as you're falling off, that uh, says no bikes allowed. Well, it doesn't say anything, it's just a symbol. If you back down again, you'll see that the sign has changed to a squirrel. So now, if you finish the track, 
you will uh, see a cutscene that will take a little while, but that will give you the first squirrel, he's right there. Second squirrel is on the observatory. As you ride past this sign that says slow down, just make sure it's out of your camera view, and now it's also a squirrel. Now all you have to do is back down, the, the momentum will do that for you, and as you get to the river, you will crash automatically. And uh, there it is, that's squirrel number two. Squirrel number three is on cliffhanger. After you get to this checkpoint, just uh, stop and let yourself fall backwards. You're gonna fall into a road, and there's gonna be like a minute long cutscene, which we'll, we're gonna skip right here. The day turns to night, there's a van that arrives, and that is squirrel number three. Now we move on to the next event, which is Arctic Open. There are two squirrels in this one. First one is on Ski or Ride. This is at the very beginning. As you get to this rock, you probably want to slow down and uh, move backwards so you get some momentum. What you want to do is jump and bail out, and you want to hit that uh, ski elevator. Is that a ski elevator? I don't know what those things are called. There's gonna be uh, another cinematic, I'm gonna speed up the footage right here, there's a squirrel, they are very very mean and they just want to murder you, but well, that is squirrel number 4. For squirrel number 5, you go to sheer pressure, and as you get to this location right here, you want to take it slow, because you want to hit that chimney. If that chimney explodes, uh, you are gonna have to restart the, the track, the checkpoint is not enough. But anyway, you bail out. You go uh, over the, the finish line and you land on that hole. It's a pretty big hole. And that's squirrel number five. We go to the next event, which is Urban Sprawl. There are four squirrels. Every single trials track has a squirrel on this event. The first one is squirrel number six on Skyscraper Showdown. At the very end, you want to bail out over the finish line. And the squirrel with the... I don't know, with an airship or something, will catch you. And that is squirrel number six. Squirrel number seven is on Park and Ride. You will see this uh, sign that says no bikes again. You want to take it slow and go underneath it. And uh, you will see another sign that says no squirrels. After a long cutscene, uh, squirrel number 7 will unlock. At the end of the cutscene, you actually have to wait a little bit. Squirrel number 8 is on Blimp My Ride. You want to start in reverse, hit that button until it turns green, then go up this ramp that, until those lights turn green. Then you want to go back again, past the first button, and some signs will spawn. Now you gotta catch 35 of these signs, there, this is also a challenge, so uh, you know, two for one. I don't really know how many signs there are total, I think it's 38, I've missed three of them and I still got the achievement, uh, the achievement, well, the challenge and the squirrel. Uh, that's the second sign that I missed right there, and uh, as I keep going, I think I'm gonna miss another one, so I think I missed three signs total, I might be wrong though, but there is some room for error. Uh, just make sure you catch 35 of them, uh, it helps to count, uh, so you know which signs you're getting, which signs you're not. And that's squirrel number 8. Squirrel number 9 is on Marina Mania, this is at the very beginning. What you want to do is after you uh, jump down from that bridge, you want to bail out backwards into the bushes, and uh, after a little while, you will see squirrel number 9 pop up from the bushes, right there. We move on to the next event on Cactus Challenge. There are three more squirrels to catch here. First one is on Road to Ruin. Now, I think this is the second checkpoint. Maybe it's the third. What you want to do is reverse when you when you get there. And you want to fall down into the hole. You don't want to fall down with your bike. Because as you can see, there's a sign that says no bikes. Uh, so you want to bail out backwards. And uh, the sign will fall off in, and will reveal the squirrel. Then if you restart checkpoint again, you move forward and uh, you're gonna crash automatically and there's squirrel number 10 right there. Squirrel number 11 is on Stormtrooper, again this is at the very beginning. Uh, when you get to the second checkpoint, doesn't matter if you go over or under that uh, canyon bridge, whatever. So after you get the second checkpoint, you uh, reverse back to the start and uh, the, there will be the squirrel. Once you get to the start, it's squirrel number 11 right there. Squirrel number 12 is on base evader. After that uh, sort of platform rising up, I restart a checkpoint to get some momentum here. And as you do this jump, you want to bail out and you want to grab onto this uh, claw. You grab by pressing the bailout key. On uh, the Xbox controller, it's the Y key. On the PlayStation, it's triangle. Not sure what it is on PC. I think it's space, but it's the same key you use to bail out. That's squirrel number 12. Next event, Rainforest Rumble. Two more squirrels right here. 
scroll number 13 on Swamp Crash. You want to start by reversing and hitting that tree. That tree will be knocked a little, just a little bit, not not totally knocked down. Uh, and now you cannot fault as you get to a certain part of the map that we're going to show you. If you do fault, you got to start the the, ma the the race all over and uh, you got to bump the tree again. Otherwise, uh, it, it won't activate. But as you get to this place, uh, there's this log. You want to take it slow and you want to land on uh, that raft. Now, you want to crash on the raft, actually, because if you don't crash, the raft doesn't move. So what I did was I bailed out forward. The bike fell down. Uh, the bike can actually stay. In, uh, in the raft, there's no problem. Uh, mine just happened to fall down to the river. And that is squirrel number 13. Squirrel number 14, you want to start by going up the ramp so you get enough speed to go backwards and hit that button. Uh, then there's another button at the end of the ramp. And there are a total of seven buttons. And some of them only appear after uh, you press the previous button. So, for example, button number four will not appear before you press button number three. So make sure uh, you know where those are. Button number three is right here. You're gonna hit it right there. Now you're gonna go into reverse because the button number four has just appeared behind you. Right there. Button number five is right after this jump. So make sure you take it slowly after landing. I almost overshot it. So I did a hard break there. Uh, button number five right there pressed. Uh, button number six is a bit further ahead. It's right here. What I did here was I let go of the throttle and uh, I let my momentum take me to this platform. And that's button number six. Now you want to bunny hop backwards. It sounds harder than it is. It's not really that hard. And uh, you press button number seven and that is squirrel number 14. We go to the next event, which is skill showcase. Three more squirrels. Squirrel number 15 is on Rocky Road. When you get to this checkpoint, what you want to do basically is uh, jump and bail out backwards. Not like that. Not like that at all. Uh, here's my second attempt. You're gonna see the platform that you have to bail out. It's right there. And this is my successful attempt. Basically, you want to land right there. And uh, there's a long cinematic that ends with a squirrel blowing up. And uh, that's squirrel number 15. Squirrel number 16 is on e Eco Park. Echo Park? I don't know. Uh, as you get to this jump, you want to lean forward and bail out and grab onto that cactus. The cactus will start uh, to flash with some really weird colors. And uh, th this just gets very weird. Now you have to do the whole track without faulting with these weird colors. And I, I think the camera angles are also a bit weird. So it makes the track a bit harder. But uh, if you do complete it without crashing, uh, without faulting, this it will take you to this cinematic and the squirrel will show up. That's squirrel number 16. Squirrel number 17 is on cold storage. This is at the very beginning, uh, after the first few jumps. What you want to do is jump here, bail out, and grab onto that hook. This hook will take you directly to squirrel number 17. This is a very easy one. We move on to the next event, which is Experts Club. Has three more squirrels in it. The first one is on Cave Dweller. You want to go forward as soon as the track starts and get on top of the elevator. I did a backflip. Maybe not the ideal way to do this. Uh, you find you can find your own way to do it. It's at the very beginning. Might take a few attempts, but that's squirrel number 18. Squirrel number 19, uh, it's on covered ops. You don't need to do anything special. You just need to finish the track, and then you gotta wait until the squirrel shows up. That's why you might miss it, because it takes a while for the squirrel to show up. But there's nothing special about this track, nothing to activate the squirrel or anything. All you have to do is finish it. The last... The last squirrel is uh, on uh, Jungle Gymkhana. This is a very weird one. Uh, I'm including a picture so you guys can uh, kind of memorize this if you want. But what you want to do is uh, you see that uh, artifact rotating in the back. It's rotating because your wheel is pressing a button. And you want the top row to be red and blue. Uh, if you fail after doing this, it's totally fine. Just make sure that uh, it lands on red and blue again before you start moving. So as you can see, I'm waiting, and red and blue, here we go. Now further in the track, you'll find that artifact again, but now the top one won't rotate, it's locked on red and blue, just like you left it. And you want the second level to be green and red. And once again, if you fail, no problem, just make sure you wait until it's green and red. So, uh, and wh when it is, you can simply move forward. Now the last one, you don't need to memorize anything because it will automatically lock on to yellow and blue. 
uh, and uh, even if you fail, like it, it will never move again. So um, just make it rotate until it locks on, and then you gotta finish the track. And as you finish the track, you're gonna get beamed to some sort of squirrel temple. I'm not really sure what this is, and that's the final squirrel, squirrel number 20. That's how you get bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And now we start with the annotations, as we get to the toughest achievements. The first one is Through the Fires of Hell, and even though I've done this myself, I don't think the footage of me doing it will help you very much. So here's a dude who plays way better than me and explains everything you need to do. This is an expert track. This is not easy. If you're a bad player like I am, prepare to do this over and over again before you achieve it. And finally, you'll be ignoring the full cavity treatment Unyielding 3 and Full Throttle 3, because while these achievements require you to complete all the challenges in a specific level, or specific challenges across all the levels, they are but a small part of Is There Anything You Can't Do, which requires you to beat every single challenge in every single level. I've divided annotations on your screen by events. So for example, if you click the first event, Greenhorns Grove, the annotation will take you to either a video with all the challenges in it or a playlist of videos made by someone else that I found on YouTube, which will also have all the challenges. So either way, we've got you covered. This will probably be your last achievement. And it's not to be taken lightly. This is a very tough one. But that's it for this achievement overview. If you found it useful, click that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I've been Globku. Take care, everyone. See you next time.